Now, yeah, this bit I'm using straight enough. Yeah. In something, hmm? where's it supposed to spark on the bottom? You don't get spark, you get a little bit. Where's all the Fibers of the wood away. Yeah. Then you get um, an ember rather than a spark. But yeah, if I start to see smoke, that's a good sign. even bolder even in YouTube as you probably guessed by the title of the video this light is a bit bright isn't it all right as you probably guessed by the title of the video um, it's a beginners I'm calling it beginners because I've never done this before beginners bow drill so here we are so basically primitive method of starting fire um, Apologies if you're watching this and you already know what bow drill is, but I just wanted to try it and help other people. We have an arm's length piece of, this is hazel by the way, using what is pretty much one stick of hazel I had. I used the thick bit at the end for the baseboard, so. Oh, got a dog come to join us. So yeah, the bow part. Go away, go away, go, go. The bow part is roughly arm's length, armpit to tip of the fingers. The actual spindle part of the, the kit is roughly 9 to 10 inches. And the baseboard that you actually get the ember from is probably around the same as the spindle. But you could have that any size. This is meant to be twice as thick as that, but I didn't have the wood for it. so. The board is meant to be basically like that. Baseboard, the bow, 550 paracord tied at each end, spindle itself, so that's the side that you get the friction off to start the fire. Oh look, same shape as my head. <laughs> and anyway, the point which goes into the bearing block, which this is my flint steel and flint striker fits perfectly in there but you can also use a bit of wood and just notch it out or put some green leaves in it but it um, needs to be a harder wood than what you're using so I've used hazel, I don't know if I mentioned before hazel on hazel here so they all say use a softer wood and uh, always use the same wood or try and always use the same wood with the spindle and the baseboard itself so next I've got a bit of bark and that sit under there which I'll show in a minute so when you create your embers the friction there the dust falls into that bit and you create a little pile of uh, wood, wood dust basically and then that becomes your ember you'll then transfer it into your pile of tinder to light fire that's in theory so as I say never done it before um, so it's a learning curve for me as well I've already had struggled a bit with the knots because this one I kind of know I can't remember what it's called but that worked to that end but to try and get the right distance it kept moving on there so I didn't know anyone could let me know what sort of knot to use on that end I've just done a few overhand knots and put it in some notches top and bottom as you can see to hold it in the right place the only tools I've used my trusty old silky saw I mean your knife. That's it. Right, I'm gonna change the angle round. 
around, give it a go, see if I can get an ember going and uh, start a little fire. Bring you back. Nelson. <laughs> so it seems like all my embers are coming back up there so I think I'm going to make this notch a bit focused. Make the notch out a bit bigger. Try again. Right, sorry about that interrupted by dinner so made the notch a little bit bigger so hopefully the embers fall down and also i'm swapping over a green leaf to catch the embers on so i was using some old chestnut bark and it's basically when i put pressure on the board it's just crumbling right let's try again and also it's making such a racket i want to get it done quick because the neighbors probably start moaning to So, oh, finally, finally, yeah, that's what I Nelson, stay. This is a bit where I mess it up and have to start all over again. Wait, you mess up? No, this is this will be the bit where I mess up. God, how do I pick the leaf up? It's like squash. So I've got my ember. Pop out breath. We have fire. <laughs> Done it. I'll make later. Finally. Oh. And it's gone out again now. Bet you saw it. So it took me about half an hour, 45 minutes. Do you reckon? Yeah. My eyes are watering now, so got smoke all in them. But that was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. So, next time if I'm going to do it, I'm uh, going to find something better than the bark and leaf to catch the embers on. Um, also, I'll use a much bigger board, because you can see I'm pretty much going over the other side as well. And also, <laughs> that was ideal, but because I was 
bowing for so long, bowing. That was starting to get hot in my other hand as well. And also, the knots, I had to keep readjusting the knots now and again, that's frayed a bit. But that, that one was all right, whatever that one's called. But the overhand end, you can see is a bit of a mess, so I need to scrub up on my, my knot tying. So at least I know now I can do a, do a bow drill. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope it's been a little bit of help. Um, any tips and suggestions you've got, let us know in the comments. Um, any negative things, also let us know, because like I say, first time I've done it. And uh, yeah, learning curve. I've got our make now. <laughs> so right, that's it for the evening. Next, next video will be Outkit Sky High review sleeping bag with you so that's that's planned for next but um yeah have a good evening stay safe stay at home